just what the heck is that? It's art. Well, sort of. One thing it does have is real art prices. This one sells for $10,000. This is Wally, and while he isn't a motorcycle fanatic, he loves painting them. That and cars, too. What's the concept here? Why, why automotive painting? Why not? <laughs> is it that simple? Sure it is. Yeah, it's new. Nobody else is doing it. But why open your own gallery? Why not just place them in other galleries? Well, we, uh, I tried getting my work in other galleries before, and uh, we just found that uh, you know, they weren't interested. They just don't consider automotive art a serious, you know, serious art. It's not art in the sense that everyone would say, oh, wow, I've got to have that. But there are car art collectors. There's a certain clientele of real, uh, true avid collectors who search for paintings that are a certain turn on a certain raceway or a certain type of vehicle that they may have perhaps bought, uh, a classic GT40 or a, a Testarossa or uh, some vehicle like that, Lamborghinis. Their art isn't abstract, and it's not hanging in the National Gallery at $4 million a piece. But one thing they do have in common with other artists is the fear that the value of their work will only be realized when they die. You do it for the love of it. I've been drawing all my life, but we're finally starting to do it for money, hopefully. Are you making much money? Not yet. <laughs> no. Sales in, what, excess of half a million? A hundred bucks, yeah. A couple hundred bucks? <laughs>